All right, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Ramadi Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Hota. In this video, I will be talking about the game last night. As I know, okay, Fabrizio Romano was talking about Kylian Mbappé. And of course, I will be talking about and I will be uploading a video reacting to the words of Fabrizio Romano. But for now, in this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about the game last night because it was horrible. And of course, it's a kind of confirmation that we really need another forward, another player for the attack of Real Madrid, and also <clears throat> another better defense. I mean, the defense line right now is the biggest concern within Real Madrid, is the biggest concern for all those Madridistas. What we saw last night against Villarreal with Rudiger, Alaba, super soft, super extremely soft in every single challenge, right? in every single divided ball, not going to play the duels. And um, well, well, with the fullbacks completely lost, this is something that I understand because Militao is not a fullback, Militao is not a right back, uh, Mendy is completely lost. You know we've been talking about Mendy for a while, right? Because Mendy is very questioned right now in Real Madrid and some people, some voices within Real Madrid are claiming for him to leave this summer and we have to find the best of i mean the best offer possible for uh selling this guy because he's not useful anymore and things like that right well that is very very true and that is what's going to happen okay so the thing is um why did we lose why sorry why did we lose the game it's pretty easy to me we didn't do a great job we did a horrible job right i mean when the lines are not coordinated and all the wide gaps you can find in the midfield, a team like Villarreal, who likes to play with the ball, who likes to move the ball all around, will take advantage of the gaps, right? So if you don't close the gaps, they will take over and they will dominate completely the whole game, right? And that is exactly what happened. On top of that, we still had some controversy with the different hands. My opinion is the Villarreal hand was a handball, of course, because the, the ball touched the hand and it's probably very strict and firm to whistle that penalty, but it is hand, is it? it is handball, right? But the handball of Alaba is not a penalty at all. Why? Because he was utilizing the hand, right, to stand up and not for any other purpose. So. The reason why the referee whistled the uh, penalty, my opinion is, remain unknown because nobody really knows why. As you can see in this picture that I brought y'all for y'all here, guys, um, according to the instructions, rules, or whatever, that is not handball. Why? Because the guy is using the handball to stand up, to support himself, right? So there's no point in whistling a penalty when the player is not even trying to touch the, the ball with the hand at all right and he's not deflecting and he's not uh getting on the way of the ball to the goal it is not just that i mean it is not a clear chance because the guy was shooting from outside the box so there's no point in whistling a penalty in that kind of situation but he did and finally we lost. And the other thing is, in the first goal, it was an own goal for um, Mendy. Another crazy stuff by Mendy. And this is something we've been talking about a lot, right? Why Fernando Mendy is not at the uh, top level he was supposed to be, he was supposed to play for Real Madrid. So right now, as you know, I mean, all the interviews I gave to, well, all the interviews um, Jose Feliz Diaz gave to me, um, regarding to different players that might exit Real Madrid this year, Fernandez is one of them, right? But it was on, it wasn't about um, football wise. It was about salary wise. It was about contract wise. It was about um, he's not happy with his salary and he wants a raise. The problem is if you don't earn it on the field, how are you gonna ask and a raise for something you're not um, giving or delivering with? right there's no point it doesn't make any sense so for Lamendi right now is still questioned in Real Madrid and after this crazy horrible game by him my opinion is he will leave for sure in this summer from Real Madrid and he should he should leave because we cannot maintain this guy at any price at any cost as this guy is going to cost us a lot of 
money, points, um, eliminatories, trophies, and stuff like that. I mean, Real Madrid should find a better option, right, for the um, left back. My opinion is we still have a bunch of players up there who might play for Real Madrid, the starting by Fran Garcia, for example. He's a, he's a great player, but let me tell you something. He's not like... Uh, you know, he's not like a super crack top level, right? I think that there are other players, for example, Alfonso Davis coming to my mind right now. Alfonso Davis is a way better player than Fran Garcia. And with only the physicality of this player, we can have a better player than Fran Garcia. Way better, honestly. And with all my respects to Fran Garcia, Garcia which is a very good player, he's doing a great job in Rayo Vallecano, but I'm not quite sure if he's ready to come and play for Real Madrid. So to me, Alfonso Davis might be, a, I mean, a better option for Real Madrid. So we should consider it and we should think about that to go ahead all in and try to sign Alfonso Davis for the left back. The other choice, the other option, right, we are handling right now is the possibility for David Alaba to come back to that side of the field which is to me not very, I mean, I'm not very okay with that. If you think about that, David Alaba, every time he played in the left back, it didn't work, right? It didn't work because the player is way, way better, kind of better in the um, center back position. The problem is that, I mean, my opinion, that leads me to talk about Rudiger, Alaba, and of course the, the, the defense line, and mainly the center back line. That is the biggest problem in Real Madrid right now. I mean, David Lalaba and Rudiger, in my opinion, they have failed completely to replace Varane and Sergio Ramos. They are not a couple anymore. They are not a team anymore. They are not coordinated anymore. I mean, they were leaving behind a lot of gaps with no coordination, not understanding of the game, not understanding where the play is at every single moment. And then, that forced to players like Modric or Casemiro, sorry, Modric or Tony Cruz to cover the full uh, the fullbacks because the fullbacks were inside, not in the sidelines. I mean, it was a, a completely mess, and this is something that Ancelotti acknowledged in the press conference. It was horrible. I mean, it was horrible. It was it was a disaster, right? So it was a very bad game. I'm not going to talk about the controversy because the controversy with the penalties wasn't the reason for it, right? But we have to improve and upgrade a bunch of things right now if we really want to play and try to win La Liga. Um, next week, we have the Spanish Super Cup in Morocco, right? So we better be ready for it because the first eliminatory, the 16th round of the Copa del Rey is against Villarreal with only one game. There's no home and away game. There's only one game and it's going to be in La Ceramica in the Villarreal Stadium. So we better try to do that. We better try to do a better job, man, because it's going to be completely, completely dangerous for us. If we really want to try to win the Spanish Copa del Rey, which is to me the only tournament we do, we, we never pay attention to. I mean, we are only kind of, I mean, slacking off and forgetting about the importance of this trophy. And to me, it's, it's important not because it's one of the biggest in Spain, it's important because Real Madrid have to try to win every single thing. Even in the workouts, even in the in the practice, Real Madrid gotta try to win every single thing, you know? So I don't know, man. I don't really know if this is going to be something really interesting or um, I don't know, we'll have to wait a little bit and see what happens, see if these guys are able to go through to the next eliminatory and see, man, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not easy. I mean, it's not easy and I know that super difficult, but we got to get it, man. We got to get it. We are Real Madrid and we're not here to do just nothing, okay? So let's see what happens, okay? We have a very complicated situation if FC Barcelona wins today against Atletico de Madrid. If they win, if they go through, if they get it, then we will have a big problem. Barcelona will be up three points um, away from us, and that's why last night it was so crucial for us to win, but we didn't. So right now we have to support Atletico de Madrid and try for them to win tonight and try to 
retain and hold back to FC Barcelona for them not to take off and get away from us because the La Liga right now is getting more and more complicated and we we've only got uh, I think uh, in the last seven games like five points or so so Real Madrid is getting distracted in La Liga this year so let's see what happens